Never before has anybody ever asked me for a before and after firmware update, but you guys asked and you shall receive. So today we are looking at a before and after of the Nikon Z5 with its brand new firmware. There's a lot of stuff in this firmware update that really, we really, really needed, right? A long time ago, like eye tracking and video. How dare they not have that in there out of the factory? But we're gonna check it out today. Let's get into it. That's pretty annoying. That's something incredibly annoying that Nikon does is they have all kinds of different HDMIs for every camera. This one is for the Z9. Thank God I brought the mini. So the first thing I wanna look at is I actually wanna take some shots with the old firmware. I don't know that there's gonna be any improvement in the new one for photography, but for sure in video, but I just wanna take some pictures first and we're going to use eye tracking. And I want to see how close I can get before it finds the eye. And it's about right there. About right there is where it finds the eye with the old firmware. And that's zoomed in at 70 millimeter. Boom. Chin down for me. Yeah, eyes real wide. Let's go ahead and get a nice side composition. Boom. Beautiful. Yeah. So chin up and eyes that way. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, beautiful. Love it. At a distance, the old firmware mostly uses the face, and it's meh. When our subject is closer, it's much better. And when they're not moving at all, it's the best. Who'd have thunk? So we've still got the old firmware, and it does not have human eye tracking. It does just have the regular auto area AF. So that's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna have my model walk towards the camera using auto area AF and we'll see how it does. I guess the old firmware has face tracking after all and it's doing pretty good. So now I just need to install the new firmware which has been pre-prepared on a card. Guys, you want to make sure that you always install your firmware with a full battery or plug it in if you're at home because I've never seen it happen, but supposedly some really detrimental things can happen if your camera goes down while it's trying to update the firmware. All right, so now we got firmware 1.4 installed and we're going to do the same test first with photo to see if there's any difference. I don't think there is. And then also with the video, which is where the improvements have been made. Now we'll get into the other things that come with this firmware later when we get back to the studio. But for now, let's go ahead and try this first with some photography. I can already tell right off the bat that it, it found our model's eye almost instantaneously. So I feel like there are improvements to the photo aspect of it. I go ahead and kick on the Atomos here and you can see, look how sticky that is. Oh my gosh. Excellent job, Nikon, thank you. <laughs> Guys, I'm really excited about this because I already love the Z5. I think it's way underpriced for what you get. And this firmware just absolutely is slaying already. Honestly, I don't know that it's that much better. It looks stickier. But it, as far as accuracy, I don't know. More testing is required. Let me know in the comments if you see a difference. And while you're there, give this video a like. Okay, now we are switching to video and it's finding the eye instantly. So before it was just finding the face, but this is right on the eye. Now how accurate it is, we will find out when we zoom into the footage. It is finding the eye expertly. Even at the very edge of the frame, it is right on the eye. Even when we fall out of frame, it keeps it. Good job, Nikon. That's a wrap of this. No, you guys didn't think I was gonna bring all these nice people out here and not do a photo shoot. Might need you to hold my light. It's just a little bit windy. I'm Zach, nice to meet you.
So what we just saw is about the only things that really matter to me, but it's by no means the only updates that we get. So let's see what else we do get in case you've been living under a stupid rock. In this firmware update, we get added support for the iOS version of NX Mobile Air, which I don't use, so I didn't really know what that was. But apparently it's a mobile app that allows you to tether and upload your images to your phone with a USB cable. So I guess, cool, if you're into that. We also get added support for Nikon's MC-N10 remote grip and ML-L7 remote controls, and that's these things that I don't have a need for right now. So again, cool, if you need that. Nikon also added safe focus position and recall focus position to selected lenses, several of which we will never be able to afford. But if you can afford these lenses, you don't need instructions on how to get there unless you're a rich newbie. So just in case, you can set up the lenses after the firmware update in custom controls, which is F2 in your menu in the custom setting menu. The referenced lenses are the Nikkor Z70-200 f2.8 VRS, 100-400mm f4.56 VRS, the 400mm f2.8 TC VRS, 400mm 4.5 VRS, and the 800mm VRS. Why the 600mm wasn't added, I don't know. Maybe Nikon thought that Z5 owners could afford the 400mm f2.8, but not the 600mm. Or they realized they can't get a 600mm out the door to anyone besides sponsored Nikon shooters who are all shooting Nikon Z9s anyway. Moving on. The behavior of autofocus during memory recall has been improved to ensure that the focus position will not change in any focus mode, even if the shutter release button is pressed halfway while the focus recall is in progress. That sounds incredibly specific and it has something in common with the final update, which is they fixed an issue that sometimes caused the camera to stop responding when auto was selected for set picture control in the photo shooting menu. So what do they have in common, Z-Wade? I didn't know either of them were an issue, but at the same time, I don't dig that deep into cameras because I'm a photographer first who shoots in manual and raw and doesn't use the Z5 every day like I do other cameras. So I'm sure there's lots of issues that I've never seen before. In conclusion, the good things are obviously good and the things that you aren't going to use come with the update anyway. So go ahead and get that Nikon Z5 updated. I will conclude with my personal opinion. I feel like the responsiveness definitely appears to be much better, both in photo and video. The focus points seem way more sticky. However, I don't know if there's that much improvement in accuracy on the photography side of things. It is quite obvious that it finds the eye at a longer distance, but whether it's actually getting sharper images, I just need to shoot it a lot more because on this particular day, it didn't seem like there was an improvement to the accuracy. It does what it's supposed to do, and that's all we can really ask for. Nikon also added save focus position and recall focus position to selected image. All right, so now we have got the, all right, so now we got the new firmware. All right, now we've got the brand new firmware updated. Whoop, where's it going? <laughs> Get the new, oh, I'm all tangled up.